All right, so by now we have a logout view, a login view, registration view, and an activation view. So all of these work pretty well. And what we wanna do now is make it just a little bit better so our view itself can actually handle like what's going on. So when they log in, it should redirect them somewhere. When they register after they're done registering, it might want to redirect them somewhere as well. And then also activation. Once they're done activating, should it redirect them or at least tell them, hey, now you should log in or something like that. Um, so that's what we're gonna do in this one. And then the other part before we actually get started there is we are gonna update how this URL looks. So it's a little bit smarter than the way it currently is because this is gonna be, well, it's kind of a mess in a way. So let's go ahead and first off, we're gonna import from django.core.com URL resolvers import reverse. So reverse is gonna be the one that we want and reverse is gonna be down here. We wanna have this, let's get rid of this right here and put a slash, or we don't need the trail and slash actually. And in here, we're gonna put our reverse call and it's gonna go into our activation complete and then it's gonna take the args of self activation key so let's go ahead and find out what that reverse is okay so this is the reverse this is actually the url that's going to go to the activation key and we get the url name here which is activation view so it's going to actually render this part out in our reverse model so if we go back into our model reverse we put this in here and args equals to a list, which is that. All right, oh, and we want a comma there. Okay, so we've got our activation view, and now we wanna actually update this. So before reverse, we're gonna do our settings.default URL or default site URL, or you could just do simply site URL. So that means we need to actually set a site URL and we also want to do percent %s here. So in our settings, which we uh, already have imported up here, we need to set the site URL. So let's go into our settings. And we are going to do a few things here. If debug, so if debug site URL equals to, and this is where we'd want to put the local host, like what we had, um, or we could just put we could put the local host or this one right here. Same thing. And then else site URL would be where your URL is. So, you know, if I was doing cfestore.com or something like that, um, not to say that that's what it's going to be, but and instead of else, we'll say if not debug. All right, so, and then another, actually even another option would be to put it above debug. There we go. Okay, so now that we've got this, our activate user email should be just slightly different. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and test it out. So it should show us our activation view with the activation key, and it's gonna work very well because we've got a URL as well as the reverse. So if we go into our view or our settings again, we, do, we don't actually need this trailing slash here because we have it uh, right here. So if we did keep that trailing slash on settings, we would get rid of that there, but I'm gonna keep it off. Okay, so now that we don't have the trailing slash, we've got our activation set up. Okay, let's go ahead and test it. I'm gonna go into my users and I'm gonna delete this user ABC and then accounts register. All right, so actually before I jump into actually testing it, let's go back into our view and we're gonna get this HTTP response redirect. And this is where we're gonna do it. We're gonna return HTTP response redirect. And this is where we might wanna go after that registration, after registration is successful. Um, so there's a lot of different places that you could go here to make sure that the registration happens in a way that kind of makes sense. 
right? So if they register, where should they be going? Should they be going to the home page? You know, this is something you're going to want to think about. So we could redirect them. Another option is to render what we've got um, and just do like a success page or something along those lines. Um, so for now, I'm just going to go with redirecting them to the home page. Um, so then after they actually log in, it will redirect somehow. There's another thing I want to do is import the messages framework. So from django.contrib uh, import messages. And what this does is it, it allows us to have session, session messages. So messages.success. And it's going to take in the request and we'll say um, successfully registered. Please check your email for confirmation. Or please confirm your email, rather. Please confirm your email before proceed. Please check your email now. Okay. All right, so now we've got this messages. So after they register, we've got a message that it'll show them. So let's actually go in. Uh, I deleted that other user, so let's go and log out. Accounts register and ABC, coding for entrepreneurs, 123, 123, join. Oops, spelled success wrong. <laughs> I successfully incorrectly spelled success. All right, so uh, I already registered that user, so I'm going to try it one more time. So we have that session message. Delete ABC. Getting a lot of registration emails here. Join. And notice it says, do you want to save your password? You say, you can say yes. Um, and then also another thing that would be to note is where'd that message go? Well, if we go to admin, we see successfully registered. Please confirm your email now. Um, so what that means is we can actually use this messages framework in many other places. So I'm going to copy that and put it into our login view. Successfully logged in. Welcome back. And then we can also do the re redirect there. And then logged out, successfully logged out. And maybe the redirect should go not instead of to the home page, but we should send them to um, the login page, like have them log in. Successfully logged out. Feel free to log in again. All right, so that's where the logout view. Now we want it to redirect to that login view. So in our URLs, we'll go to the login view, which is auth login. And we have to import reverse, but first I'm just going to use percent %s and then percent %reverse auth login. So from django.core.url resolvers, import reverse. All right, so that means that when we log out, it's going to take us back into login. And then when we log in, it's going to take us home. And then registration is also going to take us home, but it'll have this message. Activation is one other thing that perhaps we want, instead of saying just this page method, uh, page message that is we could say a, an actual Django message and underneath the saved uh, successfully confirmed something like that and we can also do this down here already confirmed right and so on so uh, successfully confirmed please log in And actually the error, we might want to say an error instead of HTTP 404, there was an error with your request. All 
And now instead of raising HTTP 404, we might re redirect them to the home page. Because why raise a um, HTTP 404 when we can, you know, have an opportunity to redirect them somewhere else, uh, like a page that just makes more sense, like a sales page. Okay, so now we've got all that. We've got these messages set up. We will actually implement these messages into our our um, our templates later, but we'll see that uh, later. So. If you have any questions on this so far, let me know. Otherwise, uh, the last thing I want to do is I'm going to just go through the whole thing all over again. Go to users. I'm going to delete this user. Uh, log out. And then do accounts. Register. ABC. Coding for entrepreneurs. 123. 123. Join. Uh, looks like I already did it. Um, I might have I pressed enter so that's probably why so let's actually check the and uh oh we have some errors here well that's because of how we actually saved everything so let's go ahead and take a look at our models we can get rid of this one but that still leaves two of them so let's see our settings so settings is still it doesn't have that trailing slash so perhaps uh, it had something to do with settings, but let's just try and actually authenticate one more time and see if now it's going to work a little bit better. But there's th three slashes there when there should only be one. Um, so let's create that user all over again. And notice that message came through. Users. Delete. Yes. Log out. Accounts register, ABC, coding for entrepreneurs, 123, 123, join. And as it loads, it takes us to another place. That's perfect. So grabbing that other email. And it looks like it's still doing it. Let's click on it and see. Now we still got that error coming through here. So what I'm going to do now is actually test it with a different domain. Let's just see if we get rid of this domain and just call it like, I'm going to just call it codingprochmers.com and see if that will work. So if that works, then we can assume that our uh, login will actually work correctly. Um, so if I go into users, I'm going to delete that user again. Log out, accounts register, ABC, coding for entrepreneurs, 123, 123, join, and joined. Check in the email, and this time it worked. Okay, so the trailing slash um, went away, and notice that our reverse actually added that slash. It's a, a mental error that I made, uh, that the reverse will definitely add um, that trailing slash there. Uh, but this is also a little bit of a smarter URL. For some reason, our local host, so when we had it on local local host, um, we had, it, it wasn't, it was actually appending another slash here, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, so for now, I'm just gonna get rid of if debug and just leave CFE store, because uh, that's essentially where we would be activating. And then from here on out, you, to test it, you could just copy the last part of the email and go in here into local host and then confirmation successful welcome we can log in and it redirects us back we are logged in log out redirects us back to log in perfect so if you have any questions on this let me know otherwise let's keep going